America is still in shock after the brutal massacre at a Pittsburgh synagogue on Saturday morning that took the lives of 11 Jewish worshippers. Names and pictures of the deceased became available online Sunday. They ranged in age from 54 to 97. Six wounded remain in the hospital, including four police officers. Dr. Jeff Cohen, president of Allegheny General Hospital, helped treat Robert Bowers, the Pittsburgh gunman who killed 11 Jews. Cohen, who is himself Jewish, is also a member of the synagogue Bowers attacked. I looked at him and I wanted to understand why did he do this, and I had no answers, Dr. Cohen told CNN. Israeli ambassador to the U.S. Ron Dermer told Fox News this weekend that people who blame President Donald Trump for the attack should study history. Anti-Semitism did not begin in 2016. It's been going on for many centuries, about 25 centuries, and Donald Trump is not responsible for the anti-Semitism that has existed really in the United States in an increased fashion over the last couple of decades, the ambassador said. Israeli Sagi Muki made history on Sunday when he won his under 81 kilogram class event at the International Judo Federation's Grand Slam competition in the United Arab Emirates. Not only was he allowed to compete in the Arab country with his country's flag on his uniform, he could hear the strains of Hatikva playing as he stood on the podium after receiving his gold medal.